<laughs> oh, that's one hell of a way to start this. No, that's not what I want to do. <laughs> start with. <laughs> we can't just be sad the whole time, you know? No, I know. I mean, this is going to be a dark episode. Nerf had a real dark sense of humor, and we'll, we will keep that going for him. He wouldn't want it any other way. Wow, fuck, this is going to be tough. I don't know if we'll do a full episode today, um, but we'll we'll give it a shot. I feel like I... I have all you guys out there that watch us and support us and, you know, are invested in our lives. And I feel like I'm not going to make the same mistake I did last time when I kept secrets. Um, You guys should know everything that's going on, you know. I mean, it's not like I fucking... I don't know, this is going to be tough. I'm sure it's already the title of the video, so you guys know. You've seen my post on Instagram. We lost a member of the team here. Um, I lost a... I feel like I lost a fucking uh, part of myself. Let's try to start off on a, on, a, on a little... I mean, I don't know how to do this. I don't know... I don't know if I'll be able to do this today, honestly. If I quit halfway through... And just fuck it. We'll scrap the whole thing. Should I go live on Patreon? I feel like we need that. I need an audience. Okay, let me set it up. Yo, Yo what's going on? You. Come on in. You sick fuck. It smells good in here. Does it? Nice. It <laughs> I bet you're fucking happy. Christian walks in and says it smells good in here. Yeah, bro. Your arch enemy's gone. Steven's gone too, that fucking jerk. I can't have him in here making insensitive jokes today, which is okay if you do. I, I, it's not gonna be like that. Um, bro, you guys are only around? We just started, we're debating if we should even do this episode. It's tough, yeah, bro. No, you have to, for, for Nerf's memory, of course. Talking to your mic. Of course, podcast you have etiquette's to do, it's fucked. You, you have to do the podcast for Nerf's memory. Mike will be by in a little bit. That he, he, that's why he's in the thumbnail. Bring it down. You guys, <laughs> bring it down. <laughs> you got no clout, bro. What do you want me to do? It's fine, I will. Put in you in the thumbnail? You know business is business. In a year, I'm going to have a lot of clout. Okay, mm-hmm. fine. We'll, we'll get into your interview in a little bit, but today, this episode is dedicated to our, our friend Nerf. My fucking boy is gone, and it was a long time coming. You know, I, I, he was on 1% battery for a long time. You know, like when your phone is, stops working good, and um, you know... When your phone's at 1% for a long time, you're like, I, I thought it was going to... I'm surprised it lasted. Surprised that one percent hung on. I should sh- show you guys videos. I have like I have videos of you like hugging Nerf, like secretly, like funny videos. You yeah. caught me being emotional with him in yeah. private. You love Nerf. Have you have you shed tears like real tears? Um yeah, I cried a lot uh, actually. I'm not. I'm gonna try not to cry in this, but uh, I don't. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. My face is all fucking puffy. You see, I've been crying a lot, bro. Mm, looks good. I mean, I just want to fuck around when I see you. I haven't seen you here in a long time, so it's like a fresh, like, all right, we're back podcasting. I'm going to keep my jokes down. No, do it, because... They already don't like We the already don't, ha- no, we don't hang out, so it's not like, uh, you know, uh, you're going to leave me and I'm not going to talk to you anymore. I'm going to yell at you to get out of here. Who gives a fuck? Go yeah, for it. Try true. to make your fucking dark humor <laughs> jokes about Nerf that just died. My boy that was with me for half my life, mm. who's now gone and left within 24 hours of now. So go ahead. Let's <laughs> let's see how fucking I'm not dark we could all get. Gosh, take it. But it's had to have crossed your mind for like a while now that you knew. I mean, crossed mind. I was thinking like actually like man, one day I'm gonna get the call that Nerf died. That guy has crossed my mind a few times. Let me intro the live here because this is. Uh, I'm sure people are like, what the fuck? Why would you go live right now after breaking that news? And it's like an emotional time. No, it's not for the money. It's not for sympathy. It's not for... It, it, it was just, like, after I did what I had to do yesterday with Nerf, I, like, just felt so out of it. Just, like, your gut is fucking twisted and nothing even feels real. So putting it out there right now and telling everybody, I feel like Nerf had so many people that loved him, even though he's a dog. And who gives a fuck about dogs? Like, if, I go, to, if I go to the... I know a lot of people do, but... For me, I, I was a dog person, but if I went to the dog park and you see other dogs, you, you think your dog's the best dog. You yeah. don't look at somebody else's dog and you're like, wow, I really love that dog. True, you know? true, true. So for Nerf to have that, I mean, maybe I'm being biased because he's my dog, but or he's like got an Instagram following or whatever it is. 
but people really love this fucking dog. And for him to go in the shape that he was in, 16 years old, like I said, on 1% battery, like just barely hanging on, I felt the need to let everybody know that loved him and supported him. And for him to go in that, that fucking, in a vet's office, mm -hmm when nobody's really around, like I FaceTimed as many people as I could that loved him and, and cared about him. But at the end of the day, you forget, you know, like you, mm -hmm. you don't really think about it until I just posted on Instagram and it's how many people hit me up about him and how many people really fucking had moments with this guy that were like crazy. It's like stories that you tell with your boys from high school or something. Mm -hmm. Like remember when Nerf fucking did this crazy yeah. shit in Vegas and it's like, what, <laughs> are you talking about a person? A dog did that in yeah. Vegas? A dog did that in Miami? Like he came from New York with me before I did anything, before I, before I did social media, yeah. before I did, before I sold weed, before I lived in LA, this guy came with me through all of it. So I feel like a part of me is obviously gone now. You think of Jeff, you think of Nerf, vice versa, you know? Yeah, you do. But that's life, you know? He is now out of pain, so that's good. I'm gonna try not to get choked up. I mean, he lived. I think he lived the best life a dog could possibly live, though. Right? We could agree on that. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was in Miami. He had girls. I seen videos of him with, with models. I know on but yachts. You, you, you always want to just like give them a good last like time of their life, but that's you get old. People get old. Uh, and yeah, dogs but you get did. Old. What more could you have done? I what? know. I I just wish that like I could have taken him to uh, like I don't know a fucking dog park or somebody. Couldn't. He was already so fucked that yeah. it was already like you know i couldn't really do shit with him we could have this attachment to like what i envisioned of him and he wasn't even that anymore it was like a shell of what mm -hmm. he was so it's it's good that he's out of pain he's in, in a better place and he's in heaven and hopefully i'll get there you know i got some work to do <laughs> i gotta get some uh some of those sins wiped off my record but you know, Nerf's done a lot, but he's done enough good to outweigh that. And yeah, it's just nice to see everybody that supports him and stuff like that. Everybody that fucking loved him and, you know. That Does the audience know the story of, like, how you got him? Like, do they know, like, exactly how you got him? I, I don't know. I, and it's kind of a dark story, too. Cause yeah, he, yeah. I got him in Miami. He was my neighbor's dog. My neighbor was a, a drug-addicted drug dealer fucking maniac that would run around with nerf doing drugs doing ketamine and all types of ghb and crazy club drugs and he would tie nerf up to like a tree or just like leave leave nerf running wild while he would just it, it's called g out so he would like over like overdose not overdose but like get too fucked up like you drank too much mm -hmm. and he'd go like this t -t -t -t, and he'd start spitting everywhere and nerf would just be like what the fuck is my owner doing you really? know oh. and then i came into his life and i was like what is this i didn't even know that he was a dog i, I like i never seen a french bulldog before i didn't i never seen like that breed of dog just seeing him run around it was just such a funny looking animal and <laughs> i never thought i would be attached to him i never thought like I would care this much to be crying for a full day like and i'm sure it won't get easier and i'm sure you're probably looking at me like yo it's a dog like why the fuck are you emotional like I, i've seen you make a big deal over crying that you're gonna lose your eye and i've seen you like you, i've never cried probably in front of any anybody here except for the eye stuff mm -hmm. which was like a quick little moment but for me to ball for fucking a day and i don't think it'll get better i think or it'll get a little better but it won't get much better Wait, so how'd you end up with a knife from your neighbor? Well, my neighbor got arrested, and they he went to jail for a year or a year or two. And in that time, he was gone. He left Nerf, pretty mm -hmm. much. Nerf was at the fire department. The fire firefighters took him, really? and they liked him so much because he was just such a cool, easy dog to take care of. They took him in, and they wanted to make him the fire department dog, like the Dalmatians. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? This doesn't even make sense. He's the wrong dimensions. He's yeah. way too small and short and fat. can't a fire. No. Hold like, Dalmatians are yeah. like these big fucking, they look yeah. like cartoons. We, I went down, I picked him up, and I moved him out here with me to L.A. I didn't know if I was going to end up staying here. I didn't know what I was going to end up be, what I was going to end up doing. I kind of cut hair a little bit at the time, and I was just like. Wait, you, what year was that? Like the fire department and stuff when you got him? This was probably 2012, 2011. Wow. 10 years i know it's insane it's crazy how long he's been a part of my life half my life pretty much well, a quarter of your life or closer to 40 16 than you are 20. 16 double that 32 what literally half my life exactly to the Bro, 2012 was 10 years ago his age was 16 how old am i 
What's 16 plus 16? <laughs> Does it make you got it? Why are you trying me right now at this fucking <laughs> moment when I'm trying to do I'm this? I'm just bro. trying to get it. Do the fucking math. Bro, you said, I'm, all right, look at you. What's 16 times no, two? No, listen, you said I got nerfed in 2012. That was half my life. Like, you're 20 years old. You're not. I got him. Okay. So I saying. had him at tw- 12. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Double 12, 24. Not far off. I'm pretty much 24. Mm-hmm. Right. What's the big fucking deal? All right, sorry. Anyways, I I don't even know what I was saying now because you fucking <laughs> tried me, bro. I'm si- I'm such a short fuse right now. If I was in London at this fucking press conference with Churley's right now, and somebody said something, I would snap. I'd go end up in jail in fucking uh, Europe, London, London jail. The nerf doesn't have any kids, right? He never. No, he was neutered by the time I got him, and mm. I, I don't know. I feel like you're supposed to have dogs neutered. Uh, so I I don't know. Look. Let him have this Christian damn. People are pissed at you, bro, for doing this. Uh, I started this podcast off not live, and I just felt like um, I wasn't going to get anywhere. I was just going to say things and tell them to cut or tell them I can't do it over and over again. And then Christian walked in, and then we they just told me I'm live, so we're here. We're doing it. We're on Patreon. And did we go live for just the top tier? Uh, cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, Oscar wanted to go live for everyone. I said, no, no. This is not about money. But I want the real ones in here, and I don't want to feel like I got to fucking uh, put on a show for everybody else. And... No, I'm kidding. Uh, whatever. It's going to be rough, bro. It's going to be rough today. Um, it's going to be rough for the rest of my fucking life, I'll think about this. I w- I w- uh, let me tell the story about... I'll mm-hmm. get back into, into the nerve stuff after about like how we moved out here and shit. But let me just talk about the process of yesterday, because I know it'll be dark, but if anybody... I mean, everybody who has pets will have to go through this, unless they outlive you which i almost did i almost did die before nerf and then oscar would have probably had to do what i did yesterday but um nerf started howling in his uh, like at night in his sleep and he wasn't eating so i took him down to the vet and i knew what was going to happen i I tried to stop off and take him to a park and he just kind of fell over and i thought he was going to die right there so i took him in and they did tests on him and as i was i took him into the vet i called my parents and my dad told me a story about his dog, our family dog, Ernie, that you guys talk shit on, you motherfuckers back there. Kyle, remember you and Steven joked around about Ernie's death? Mm-hmm. Look, say something now. Mm-mm. I'm I'm just, I'm fucking around. But my dad was telling the story about how he had to put down that, <clears throat> our, our family dog, it had uh, cancer in its leg and he took him to the vet. They said you can operate, you can amputate the leg and keep the dog alive for like six months. But at that point, who are you doing it for? Are you keeping the dog for yourself or for the dog to enjoy its life. So my dad's telling me the story and he's like, uh, it was one of the hardest things I ever had to do. And he's lost a bunch of family members and all that, but it's just different with the dog. And he even started tearing up about that. He goes, I'm crying now. And he started crying to me on the phone about a dog that he had put down 20 years ago. So I don't know how much easier this will get. Nerf's been a part of content. Everything we did, every video I look back at, it'll it'll be there, and I just need to know that I need to keep reminding myself that we gave him a good life, and mm-hmm. he was a special dog that Oscar and I both loved. Kyle, kind of whatever. Um, you didn't know Nerf when he was in his prime, prime Nerf days. He was the man. Still Everybody loved him. His. Yeah, you did, but mm-hmm. that's kind of your your yeah. you, you kind of part of your job. I know you didn't sign up for it, but it's just you know the job has become my caretaker and Nerf's caretaker. That's our group chat that we have. Jeff's caretakers. That's our Jeff FM group chat name. You've been bit by Nerf, so you have twice. Yeah, he did get twice. you, but you did step on him, and you deserved it. You got you hit him first. No, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest right now. I think it's for another reason. No. No, 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 listen, no. listen. He's black. No. Listen, black. you've never, listen, just listen, guys. Jeff, you've never had a, what are you I, saying? He's like a Kanye, no, like listen, listen, Kanye's just, like finish. doing racist stuff. When, no, uh, let me finish. I was thinking about today and you've never had another black person in your house besides me. And I'm hat. I'm not even like, what do you mean? He loves Jojo. Yeah, Jojo. Oh, Jojo doesn't count. That's no, it. Jojo was his first black friend. I don't know, man. I just, in my mind, he's never been anybody else. You don't have a lot of black people around here and he's <laughs> bit me twice. Bro, I have every type of person around me. Don't start with this racist shit. You don't come. You come in here for the first time in a fucking year, and you're saying, "Oh, I don't have black people around. I don't have gay people around." What? I'm just saying. I have everything around. I'm the only fucking. I'm the lightest skin. Co- no, Kyle is by far. But who's gay? Everyone. Everyone is gay. <laughs> Everyone here. Ninety percent of people are gay. Mm-hmm. 
we got, I don't don't make me name don't make don't make me name people don't make me fucking do this bro over here ah oh, man are you gonna get another dog that's a good question I I never thought about it I never liked the idea of it but like coming downstairs in the house today and expecting to see him even though I know what happened yesterday it's one of the hardest moments of my life that I'll remember forever forever vividly. You still forget because you're just so used to having him there. You mm-hmm. hear like clicking around. You hear a noise in the house. You're just like, oh, that's just Nerf. That's just your dog walking around. But it's, he's gone and it's not, you know, you're just used to hearing the shit. You come home, you think there's a dog there. I have come downstairs for something. I think that I'm going to bump in it or see him. And, you know, I don't know. I don't want to be too down the whole episode. I wasn't even going to do an episode today. Obviously, I was supposed to be gone. Um, but it's. All jokes aside, it's nice of you guys to come by and not leave me alone here because I'll fucking spiral. What's going on in your life? I don't give a fuck. (laughs) (laughs) You're doing cool shit, huh? I don't care if nobody else cares, but they care that you're a supportive friend. I wanted to come. They do care. They do care, but they don't know what you're working on. And I don't want you to be like, because I know how talented you are. I know that you're doing a lot of cool shit, Mm -hmm. but I don't want you coming on here and being like, oh, yeah. No, no, no. Uh, no. By the way, I got all this shit in the works. We're doing this because it sounds like clout chaser shit. If you just say it without like, without doing it just do it just do yeah, what you're yeah, that's do. why i haven't said anything yeah. christian's crushing it he hasn't been around for good reasons he is on to bigger and better things you guys have been traveling a lot too we have been traveling yeah we'll call you in for the big big shows that's why i've been happy that you've been honestly like actually like as a friend i know we joke around i poke fun at you and people get mad but you had you had a really tough um 2020 i don't want to even cry because but um just seeing you the last year just be happy and smiling um man i don't know if i could have done that what you from what you went through to seeing what you how you've been this last year i've been like actually very happy and uh now you're you're a good guy and it's, i just been happy to see the growth over the past year and kyle and oscar you guys have been supporting him and just you know being here and the channel's crushing it the podcast is crushing it your products like just watching you do everything you've done for the last year it actually has made me very happy so um yeah you're crushing it too oh fuck now i feel bad for being such an asshole to you <laughs> <laughs> no nah, no but it's cool because like i always i always said it because i always be like bro you never leave you're always such a you just stay in your apartment and i know you've been i got, traveling well, and, i i feel like i felt like i was a fucking herd animal that just curled yeah. up in a corner you guys saw me at my fucking worst and i feel bad that you guys had to see I had to see that see that me sitting here emotional fucking hurt depressed yeah. for so long and that was never me I never yeah I never expected that to be like that but you guys were there throughout all that shit and I feel like Nerf hung on mm-hmm. until like yeah. he saw that I had to get yeah. through this shit I had like I was losing people left yeah. and right and he stayed with me until I, I got to the point where it's like alright you got this now on your own mm-hmm. and I, I, yeah, like somebody said in here, I, I, I just glanced at it. They were like, you'll look back at the the videos and stuff and smile. And mm-hmm. I hope that's how it is. I hope we get to that point. But I just can't. I, even when I was doing the fucking post on Instagram and just reading the beginning, and I'm like, I'm, I'm going to miss you. <laughs> just saying that I'm going to fucking miss you and making that post that I've been dreading doing for so long. Doing this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> It's just tough. I'm happy we did it live too, so I'm fucked and this is on the internet forever. <laughs> ah. Shit, this is dumb. Amar's gonna have a field day with this, making fucking edits. <laughs> if I didn't learn my lesson the first time. Ah, fuck. What's going on with Kanye, huh? You see what he's fucking, what he did at the fashion show? Uh, yeah, what do you, yeah, what do you think Nerf would think about the... Oh. Uh, no, just, he uh, would. He would. He would be like, "Yeah, just trust Kanye. Whatever he's doing, is, he knows what he's doing." You know, he. It was kind of genius. Are what? we gonna make? Are you guys gonna make a compilation? You guys should of, of all the funny Nerf moments. That is smart. The, I, the balloon when he's flying wearing the balloons when he mm. had the the underage girls. But I guess we don't want to bring up the dogs, bad, the bad underage, stuff. Yeah. yeah, the underage dogs. Underage, Sorry. Bro? Sorry. Yeah, it was the underage puppy. dogs. Yeah, we did a bit. I mean, there's so many good Nerf bits, bro. It's so hard. It's so fucking just. I, I, like to make the Instagram post and go through all this stuff. Yeah. How happy I was with him. Even like, you know, just different out of 1600 Vine apartment. You know, it's hard to go through this shit, but 
I'm sure I'll see a bunch of stuff and be like, fuck, I should have posted that. I'll double post. I'm I'll sure triple people, post a million Nerf, people bro. are going to make um, compilations, but we should. There should be a nice one at the end. We'll do something at the mm-hmm. end of this. I don't know if this will be a long podcast. It might be 10 minutes. I don't know, but we'll put a, a, something at the end. Uh, if you guys have any of your favorite Nerf clips, send them over. We need to make something nice for Nerf. How uh, old was he? 16? 16, yeah. That's crazy. What's 16 times 2? 32. <laughs> How old am I? <laughs> Back to this. Okay, real quick. Uh, we have to cut to the sponsors. I know what you guys are thinking. How could you put sponsors in a Nerf Memorial episode? It is what he would would have wanted. You know, Nerf has touched a lot of people in life, and he's also cost a lot of people money, especially me. So this is a way for him to look over us from the heavens and send us some love here so thank you dadgrass for sponsoring today's episode it's too nice out to be too damn high just because we've aged out summer break doesn't mean we don't need to chill out ditch the munchies paranoia and potency of today's weed with dadgrass dadgrass is legal organic hemp that relaxes your body and mellows your mind dadgrass's cbd products are made with 100 percent organic hemp that's easy to dose and the effects come on smooth they offer a variety of products from their token smokable pre-roll joints as well as hemp flour and variety of cbd tincture drops that help you with anxiety and stuff like that enjoy the effects of cbd while keeping a clear head all dadgrass products are federally legal for ages 18 and over and ships right to your door anywhere in the u.s go to dadgrass.com slash jefffm to check out their products whether you're looking for a new buzz or just a way to chill and enjoy an old favorite dadgrass will leave you in a euphoric mood right now dadgrass is offering our listeners 20 percent off your first order when you go to dadgrass.com slash jefffm that's dadgrass.com slash jefffm go to dadgrass.com slash jefffm for 20 percent off your first order that's dadgrass.com slash jefffm i'll fucking i just want to go to war bro i want to fucking go I, mike's gonna come here in a second and i'll get into this shit of course he is anytime there's like any chance cloud of cloud play, content yeah let yeah. me show up for jeff show that i'm fucking there yeah. for him you know <laughs> what if he puts out nerf died video before you do i mean i wouldn't be surprised <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if you did too anyway. <laughs> yeah no but I, I gotta be honest i like it, it just showed me over the past like couple hours since i posted how many good people i still have in my mm-hmm. life I mean, and i should i should be grateful like mike was really good yesterday he did tell me not to stay there when i said my final goodbye to nerf oh wow has a lot of engagement Sorry, I'm just not. I thought you were done with Cloud. No, yeah. no, I mean Jeff's post of nerve. I'm just saying he does have a lot of supporters. It's not for me. It's not for me or you or anyone. It's for Nerf and three thousand comments. Let's see bro. who the most famous person is that commented so far. Does Nerf have more followers than you? Yeah, bro. What the hell? He has like a hundred k. Interesting. I'm just you know I'm not <laughs> so just interesting to think about. You know, we were talking on Facetime. Yeah, and. I was telling you how long Nerf's been around for since he he was there before you started since drinking. Like 19. Well, he was there when I was tw- yeah twenty before I was even old enough to drink. And then while you became an alcoholic, and then while you became sober, yeah, <laughs> like it was a, f- a full life cycle. Yeah, you said he, Nerf's been around so long that he was around before I was even old enough to drink. Then drank so much that I became an alcoholic, and then got sober. And he was there <laughs> <laughs> through all those years. Yeah, he probably just looked at me like you fucking nut job. You, I wonder, insane actually, man. I, I wonder what dogs like think of their owners. Do you think? I wonder if they have those thoughts. Well, his first owner was a fucking yeah. Compared to him, you you rescued him. Crackhead. You saved his life. And then he died. He passed away. Then I took him on, and I thought I would. Well, you killed the owner that took Nerf. No, Not I didn't. I had he uh, he uh, went to jail. No, he went to jail and then he OD'd when he got out. Yeah, I thought he would outlive me, Nerf, and then I would never, I would never have to go through all this. But uh, it's probably better off that, you know, it went naturally how things should go. Mm-hmm. It just sucks, bro. It sucks that you fucking get so attached to these pets. You're with them more than you're with your own family, and they just they do nothing to piss you off. They do nothing mm-hmm. to like. There's nothing bad I could say about Nerf. Like, what, he just pissed and shit? Yeah. I cleaned up his shit. I didn't clean up none of my family members' true, shit. True. If my brother took a shit on the floor, no, you couldn't give me fucking anything to pick that up. It'd be disgusting, yeah. you know? There's just a special bond with your pet. It's like a baby. It's like you could clean up your baby's diapers. Yeah. And, you know, there's nothing wrong and with those, it. 
There he is, Mike. Nice of you to come. No. Christian's here. We can tell him to leave if if if, he, if he's in your seat. Oh, did you bring me some prime? Well, I'd, I'd like to be dog if possible. Okay. Yeah, he needs it. Even though he just <laughs> he was just balling. Thanks for coming, Mike. Right. It's What's fine, bro. It's with more Mike's, Mike's only going to be here for a few minutes. He nah, just pops yeah, stay in. Where you're, where you're at. I don't want to cause any trouble or dramatic. You know, I already cried a bunch of times on this podcast. Well, I, I, I want to throw this out there too. You want to plug Prime? Yeah. No, Prime? Uh, sorry. Actually, <laughs> you got zero percent of that company. 0%. First of all, those are delicious. By the way, they sent me another Prime thing, and you know we could cut to a we could do a full Prime sponsor. <laughs> we don't have to do that. How many electrolytes they got in there? More uh, than Gatorade, right? A lot of them, and they don't pay me anything, and I'm not. I get zero percent of that company. So let's just take Nerf's moment and dedicate it to Prime well, energy drink. Well, right, you're not letting me finish. Hydration drink. The, the reason I brought that is because the way I was brought up, and you know, I think the way a lot of people are brought up is if something like this happens. May I? You bring yeah, you bring something, and I. You going no water with that? Huh? You going no water with it? I no, I'm saying, can I? What? What are you just gonna take it down like? No. Oh, okay. I thought you were just gonna eat it like a fun dip or something. I just take down the powder. I was gonna say whatever, whatever it takes to get clout. You I know? just want to be on Logan Paul's good side. That's look, true. That's look. that's. Look, it's not really, it's not really hard nowadays. He's a pretty happy guy. Um, but I, but I, yeah. I was always taught, you know, bring something to as a show of respect, and I, I have that, and I have twenty dollars. Oh, well, I have fuck. Now I brought it all out, so I have more than you $20. have more than twenty dollars. Dude, you take all of it. You could choose. I think there's like grab all of that, like, Christian. Do you want? Okay. You could take ten. Leave the ten for valet or something. You going out tonight? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, this is definitely not going the way. It's so I didn't funny how, that one how out much properly. this bugs you because you are such a cheapskate. <laughs> But you know, you got a good heart. Certain Mike, things. Yeah. I talked about you before you got here. You're a really good friend. And I, I talk about that a lot. You sure. looked out for me. You know, enough of the prime, bro. Can we talk about Nerf? Can we talk about the fucking reason we're all here? The legend that is now gone. The end of an era. You want to talk about Prime now has fucking powder, powder tubes. I just those. Were, this honestly wasn't supposed to be like a promo. I just those were on my counter. You saw them there. Well, well you when you came over, I snagged them. I brought them over. I just thought. I don't know. Maybe you'll use them for something. Maybe you'll want to stay hydrated. They sent them, bro. I'm on the mailing okay, list. No they, I drank them already. They're you know, delicious. I, I get it. I get it. I can't believe you used this moment to plug your fucking boys. I don't have any. I got 0% of that company. That makes it even worse. Okay. <laughs> if you had steak, if you had equity in it, then I'd be like, fine, take Nerf moment. You know what's hot engagement. You know Nerf is Sorry, I admit, cut you off. You were talking about how good of a friend I was. I'm sorry. <laughs> You showed up here after we were just together for an hour to give me a hug, like <laughs> like on camera, bro. We know what you're doing here. What do you mean, you know what I'm doing? We know what this is about. Let what? me see what the audience is saying because we're live on Patreon and everybody's seeing this. You're telling me that out. we're live now? I could have come in here dropping ethnic slurs. You didn't tell me anything. Lumi Tune says it's Nerf okay, no, and what? then she says, "Oh no." <laughs> Where have you been? Fuck. How are you in? How? Wait, what? So don't she bully her. Don't gonna, bully her in the chat. I'm sure she just. going to say, how are you in this tier, Patreon? What? <laughs> he was going to say. to five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> no. Is this like the Godfather tier? Like the one it's, where they? No, it's like mid. It's mid tier. No, not the mid. Mid, mid, mid is like mid, oh, no mid. No. It, you know, mid sounds negative, but in this case, we only have three tiers, and the top one is like just ridiculous. I don't even know what we give them anymore. I think I have to like give them DNA for the the <laughs> Godfather tier. No, this is this is the ride or dies right here. The people that really care. Um, so I was at your house. You called me up to come by because you didn't want me to be alone. Nice thing, and for you as somebody who, who has dealt with depression and drug addiction and stuff like that, you, you know, you know these things, and it's nice to have somebody that has that life experience and knowledge, and you know, is a little bit older in my life. You know, I can't just hang out with these guys. I mean, they they do know. Oscar's a, a bit older, but Kyle's more like. Yo, shit's lit, you know? Like, that's how I really get out of here, Nerf. <laughs> yeah. No cap. Nerf was lit, bro. No cap, bro. <laughs> yeah. Dog was not mid. That yeah. was not mid, dog. <laughs> <The> dog <laughs> no cap. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I went to your house because I, got, I had to get out of here, and I start doing the Instagram post from your house, and you have a German videographer of yours that lives with you. Soulless. And I mean, bro, you're German, bro. I soul, so we're, all, we're there, and I'm crying. Literally tears coming out of my face as I'm trying to write up this caption. And you're, you're a writer. You have a book. And I was asking you to help me proofread it, so we're both on our phones there as we're writing up this caption. And he goes... What is this? You guys all the millennials here all on your phones. What the fuck is this? You do a live life. I'm like, excuse me? As I came here, bawling in tears, my shirt soaked in tears, to do my dog's memorial post, 
what do you want to do? Go to Six Flags right now? Would you like me to freestyle rap for you? You want to have fun well, and fun? stand-up comedy? And you want me to do a stand-up routine? And then he goes, well, okay, well, what are you guys doing for the rest of the day? Like, I look at him like, what do you fucking mean, bro? Yeah. We're, we're going for a bike ride. You want to go to Disneyland, Disneyland What do you want to do, bro? Are you out of your fucking mind? Do you I see my puppy with the guy, face? bro. I don't know. And then I told him, I said, I can't wait for your dog to die. And then I left, posted it, and then I got a like, a notification <laughs> like from <laughs> him. <laughs> like he... I just jumped to the next level and at times like this I'm such a short fuse that I could fucking blow up yeah I noticed that and I and I, I had to respect it I wasn't gonna even step in if you started pummeling him and going full <laughs> you were full D you were about to go full D day on him bro and fucking start landing on Normandy Beach but dude I mean listen all, all jokes aside uh, they're asking Fury to cut his pay I, it's hard to cut it from what it is now I think that would be under absolutely and, and that's that's what I was about to get into dude like we we do a lot of content stuff i've talked about the the blurred line between content and real life a lot uh on different shows on impulsive during fights during beefs during battles whatever but jeff you know me dude like i'm i'm a real person i'm a i completely understand what you're going through i can relate to what you're going through and when you called me and told me what was going on like the only response you should ever give a friend in a position like that or when they find out a loved one is sick or when they go through a heartbreak is I'm here now and I'm here for as long as you need me unconditionally and without any restraints. And, 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 and that comes from a place of privilege. I'm sure work, you know, people have to go to work, have to go to their jobs. But other than things like that. I'm here, bro. If you told me like, yo, like I need you to not do this tomorrow. I need you to not like I would if you said come to my house and go sleep in that room. I need you to stay here for the next three days. Yeah. You know, right now in your brain that I wouldn't leave this place. for I three was going to do that, days. but I just can't deal with but the, you know ger I would. the German. <laughs> nah, you wouldn't have to fucking come. You what, wouldn't have you to gonna come, sleep bro. all day. <laughs> he, <wouldn't have> <laughs> he doesn't have to come. But bro, that those are the type of friends that we owe each other out there. Yo, for people listening to this. And I bet you, you have a lot of real good people in your audience, bro. One of the most obviously intelligent, you know, creative audience, but but also in touch with their feelings and their emotions. That's what they were waiting for. Um, and, and you know, but I, in all seriousness, I shouldn't joke around at this point. Not not that that's ever a joke, but, uh, no, they, you know. They're loving it on the chat. And then, it, that's not why I'm talking. You know, Christian I, was getting, like, they were like, fuck it. But you won them back over. All I'm saying is those are the, yo, the, the, this is the type of friendship that we owe to all our friends. Friendship is a really important thing. So, you know, if you got a friend out there and they're struggling and they need help, like, don't off from two minutes put, and, and then pick up your phone and text somebody or or like that type of shit be with the person spend real time you know what's you know what crazy saying? about all this and i know you think i'm gonna say some sarcastic fucking backhanded shit to you right now because i saw the look in your face <laughs> but you're only here i mean i'm so grateful to have you in my life you you are a really smart guy good friend you saved the low gang and you logan's career look at him you know you came in at, at a tough time for him you came in at a tough time for me he's the reason you're even around because he told me to bring you on the barbershop and i was like nah fuck that guy he's a cloud chaser <laughs> and that's so true yeah, yeah, yeah and you were like no you guys would be funny together yeah. like trust me you're just hating so and i was it. just being a hater bro i was a I hater on that. you for before i met you i was a hater because i was who knows where that where that stuff you just from. seemed genuine at the time maybe i was jealous maybe i was thinking like mm. oh this guy's doing my shtick he's got the new york fucking oh he was an addict he's been to jail <laughs> that's my, that's shit. my <laughs> shit bro <laughs> right, fuck right, this guy right. he's not doing as good as me you know i'm better at this mm. shit he's just a cloud chaser and maybe i i was just a cloud chaser too at the time maybe people were looking at me like oh i don't want to fucking was that before Accident? What year was yeah, that? Yeah, I was way before yeah. that. Really? Yeah. No, I always, yeah, I always yeah, know. I had the fucked up eye in line. I goes, what happened to your eye, eye Jeff? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. you're right. So like the 20, first barbershop yeah, we, right. when we went, you would well, it was yeah. fresh. Fresh, It was bro. very oh, fresh. Yeah, still you're coming right. Out. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I remember Lana said, what happened to your eye, Jeff? That's like the first time somebody said that to me, and it like hit, you know? It actually happened. And then we said some questions that hit for you guys, too. So, I mean, we crossed the line. Yeah, that's But that's how I knew that we were gonna be friends because I was like, yeah, well, bro, like, let, I'll be honest, dude, like, I had seen your stuff and I always thought that your type of humor, because uh, I don't, I don't, I hate to say stuff like this, like, so bluntly, but YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and everything that we see on a daily basis, 
What? This culture is one of the corniest cultures mm-hmm. that I could have ever Good. imagined would ever take place in the world. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, yeah. I feel surrounded by no one I can relate to. Mm-hmm. I feel like there's not a single person's content that I would ever want to watch. And by the way, without with an exception of a few. Yeah, there's yeah. a few people out there who I can stomach, but the majority of this shit is trash, mm-hmm. hot fucking trash, bro. Mm-hmm. And when I saw your stuff, I was like, bro, this dude's like dark. He's funny, bro. He puts time, he puts effort into his shit, and it's funny, bro. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So way different than mine. My impression of you. Yeah, I, I didn't know. watch your no, shit. That's why I had to hit him because I was like, I was doing yeah. your stuff, and I started watching the night shift for the early episodes, and I was like, oh, this guy's funny. And then yeah. me and Jonah used to do a show that was scripted, and I was like, oh, he'd be funny in it. So that's why I told you, I was like, yo, no, he's a real one. Yeah. Uh, at least he appears to be a real one. And yeah, I'm happy you did that, man. And I, like, I felt like that with everybody. Like when I first started hanging out with the, with the vlog squad, I was like, these kids are corny, and you know, like who the fucking thought I'd end up with you and Tana as my <laughs> main my wait, main wait, collaborators. Wait, going back to what he was saying, what you were saying earlier, you were saying. Saying uh, something about like the real ones sticking through, but to be honest, there's not a lot of people that have. There's not a lot of you will. All, each of us only have like one or two people in our lives that even would do that. You yeah, get what I'm saying? For like, sure, I- I've been blessed enough enough to. Sorry, the sorry, sorry. sorry cut no, you yeah, off. you're right. Yeah, go. go I- I've just been blessed enough to have. Um, I'm such an extrovert that I, mm-hmm. I, I end up in situations where I get to meet and conversate mm-hmm. and break bread with so many people that I, I get the opportunity to have meaningful relationships with the ones that really stand out. You know what I'm saying? And and have been blessed with some, some really great friendships that I've needed dramatically in my life, dude, because I've always leaned on those people. And, and it's one of the biggest... Um, pieces of perspective in my life that keeps me happy on my darkest days and i maybe i give a little bit of this to you tonight um there's a lot of people out there who don't have anyone dude. Mm-hmm, there's exactly. a lot and, and, and there's yeah. nothing makes me as an em- mm-hmm. real empathetic person sadder than knowing that there's someone out there going through what you're going through right now mm-hmm. who had a pet that meant the entire world to them yeah. 15 years of friendship the only thing that they had in their life, they sat in the recliner, they watched Prices Right together every mm-hmm. day for 15 years, and now that pet is gone, and they have no one, mm-hmm. not a single person. It's a great and, program. And, 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 and honestly, <laughs> like that perspective, Prices Right is a great program. That perspective allows me to stay in a place where I'm grateful for the things that I continue to have in my life. I worked on the Prices Right. Fantastic show. <laughs> CBS. Tom Barker Stage is 32. a legend, bro. You know you could just you wait in line Drew. to get no, on I that know. show. That's right. I used to seat the people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I used to seat the people that would wait in line. I would seat them in their oh, seats. Yeah. I was an audience coordinator. Drew Carey, though. Yeah, Drew right. Carey. Mm-hmm. It's not Not, the, not, not Bob Barker. Nah, yeah, Price yeah. is wrong, mate. <laughs> we, gotta get, we gotta get on that show one of these days. I thought, just wait I thought about just doing it for a vlog. I oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I remember out. you sent Jeff Logan's manager uh, like a long voice memo. He shut it down. He didn't even play the whole thing. He He's said, like, "I heard <laughs> it is the dumbest thing." I've <laughs> I need you to get me on the right. right. <laughs> just what the fuck are you Stand talking about? Just, just get the, there early. You get in. We just sold a billion <laughs> bottles of pride. <laughs> oh, I'm the ugly stepchild of the whole organization. You want me to spend bro. fucking days of my life trying to get, get you, you on, on this show for free? Right. Or maybe what is he going to take? Fifteen percent of a washing machine? <laughs> well, how the fuck does he earn money off of that? There's no. That's the thing with managers. They only care about the deals that are going to make them money to take a percent. Wait, of. Okay. What do people do for those people you said that have lost someone or something or but and have no one and they don't have the clout of of Mike Malak? I mean, there's just. I, I mean, listen. At the end of the day, all this stuff comes down. To, all all this life stuff comes down to gratitude. It all comes down to just being happy with what you got, because, you know, that that. That's all. That's all there is to it. That's really the end of the story. Like, you I guys aiming to get right a viral, viral TikTok out of this? Nah, I'm not kidding. I'm, yeah. so, I'm, <laughs> I'm off tonight too. I mean, bro, I've had to dig deep just to make this tonight because I'm having my own issues, obviously, with the my intestinal blockage. I appreciate you coming by. <laughs> oh, yeah, I saw your pills on your counter. Yeah, those make it possible for me to shit because my intestine is tied in a knot. Oh, nice. I can't even eat right now. Mm, which is yeah. fucking horrible because that's the only thing I like to do. What are you taking that? Uh, the the stool softener now is that is that what you're taking? God damn, you guys are old. Please yeah. please stop this conversation. <laughs> yeah, Holy yeah. crap! Yeah, no. Oh this, my this god, is, this is what I'm going for. Let's talk about some mid. Let's talk about some <laughs> mid like <laughs> shit or some like cap wrappers or something like that. Well, no, what what, uh, let's talk about your digestive system and, and your intestines. <laughs> and we can. So if you what really does want that to. stuff? What does it do? So. <laughs> The, the only reason I'm taking this stuff is well, I know it seems like I'm old. I am old, by the way, by by the um, the definition of you know the no cap for real for real gang. You know that uh, some of the people that watch it, but so you just got nonstop diarrhea? Uh, no, the opposite. So let me just fucking explain, okay? I had a lot of surgeries on my abdomen, so I had my spleen removed. I had uh. 
another surgery, and then I had a hernia repaired. So I've had multiple surgeries. So are you saying your poop's just all clogged up? In there, if you would just let up? me finish, like it's I can explain to like you what like I can explain it to you. Like popcorn, it's, it's like, like a puzzle to trying to put together of, a single statement of, like this, of fluid thought, and then I haven't taken any alpha down. brain. His intestines what? just straight down like this. Now you instead of twisting, just goes straight to the floor. So you, so so you. Now, all right, we'll save all that shit for people listening. It takes a shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> literally. We won't talk about shit anymore. Let's talk about the pills that you got that you keep out on your counter there. And I see your Instagram stories. I know you always got some young ladies coming over, some Instagram models that are 22, 23, mm, and they don't know totally anything yeah. about this. What, when they see that bottle, are they like, does it set in like, oh, the, uh, I'm at a honestly, fucking adult house. They're blinded by the cloud. Know? They don't care. It's not even that. It's just... <laughs> You know, like I'm about to fucking, yeah. you yeah, know, yeah, maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe if it's not that, it's the fact that I'm watching the prices, right? That's usually a dead giveaway. <laughs> like, he got, they're trying to talk to me. They're like, they're like, yo, did you see what Kanye said about Lizzo? I'm like, who are these people? Bob Barker's about to give away a Cadillac. Shut up. That's Shut the fuck up. Programs, bro. You got your programs. Today's episode is also sponsored by Mudwater. Mudwater is a coffee alternative with four adaptogenic mushrooms and ayurvedic herbs with only a fraction of caffeine as a cup of coffee you get energy without the anxiety jitters or crash of coffee each ingredient was added for a purpose cacao and chai for mood and microdose of caffeine lion's mane for alertness cordyceps for help support and physical performance chaga and reshi to support your immune system turmeric for soreness and cinnamon for antioxidants look this stuff tastes great i love it it's the perfect substitute for that coffee that is anxiety inducing uh my favorite ingredient is the lion's mane for alertness i like to have some of that right before i come in here and just bang out a podcast and i say words that i didn't even know that i knew thanks to this lion's mane uh you ever do that where you just say a word and you're like damn that was a big word i didn't know i had that in my archive i didn't know i had that in my arsenal i should say look at that i had the wrong word the first time i said it i'd like to have a little bit of my mud water with some honey and oat milk that's perfect touch mud water is whole 30 approved 100 percent usda organic non-gmo gluten-free vegan and kosher certified mud water donates monthly to the berkeley center for science of psychedelics as mud water believes the country is in a mental health epidemic and sees psychedelics as useful tools for individuals with depression ptsd anxiety and other mental health problems and i agree I stand by Mudwater. I think I agree with him. I think that the country is in a mental health ec- ep- academic, epidemic. Need some more lines, Maine, if I want to get these words out. Go to mudwater.com slash Jeff to support the show and use code Jeff for 15% off. That's code Jeff for 15% off at mudwater.com slash Jeff. Thank you for supporting the show, Mudwater. <laughs> RIP Nerf. Damn, All right, man. P. Nerf, this is a tough one. I didn't even get to know him, bro. The only I Nerf you... I knew was fucking not the Nerf that I wish I'd known, dude. He was he was not, um, you know, he was in his elderly state. I know, but you still get it. You still understand, and that means a lot. Like, Kyle, I wish he was around for, like, Nerf's earlier years when Nerf was just the man everywhere we went. You know, Coachella, I would just leave him at the house, and people would take care of him. He'd end up sleeping in somebody else's bed with them because he would sleep cuddled up. And I think that's why... Oscar took such a liking to him because when we were uh, Oscar we would have been working together six years now yeah so you've been around when Nerf was like 10 and he was still in good shape back then and I feel like you were with Nerf for longer than that but yeah Oscar had a, a real good bond with Nerf and he even got a, a another version of Nerf yeah Peggy your dog is a lookalike of Nerf a girl version even looking at that Marna's picture that she painted of Nerf I have so many memorials and stuff of him around here that he's all over the place I don't know bro I could keep on talking and talking about this but I don't know. I should go to therapy, huh? I mean, grieving's a process. You know, everybody does it a little bit differently. Yeah. You know, I, like I said, I've been through with the pet thing, and it's it's really tough, bro. Yeah. So, uh, and what am I like? Fuck. Uh, is that about the CBD gummies? No. Alpha brain. No, it's just wild to see all these people come out of the woodwork with them, like support and nerf and like showing love like people i haven't talked to in so long Mm -hmm. girls i've had relationships with over the years younger versions of myself that was a little like clones like younger like no like 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 back like miami jeff like i would i would have relationships with people you know like i would i would i was a different person back then yeah and 
so many people met Nerf over the years, whether it was a girl that was there for one night, but Nerf made an impression on them, you know? And they're they're coming out of nowhere to send a message, and I'm like, damn, I thought this person hated me for ghosting them after. This is a young version of myself. Like I was 21. I was a piece of shit. You know, yeah. you used to be a piece of shit. You know the deal. Yeah, for sure. You used to be a piece of shit, too, you know? Mm-hmm. We all used to be pieces of shit. That's why we get along so good. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's right. And Nerf was a piece of shit, too. Let's be honest. You know, he was a piece of shit at the end of the day, but he cleaned up his act over the years and he became a good, a good dog, I guess you'd say, you know, like I said to you, I mean, you did everything you could. You How did. do I have a podcast? Well, <laughs> you're grieving. You're grieving. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, you know, my brain shorts out, <laughs> I mean, brothers, you know, and it's not just a podcast. It's very, it's a successful podcast. <laughs> it's insane. You know, it's fucking nuts, bro. It's cr- crazy. But that's just an a, a evidence to how much people like you and, and maybe Nerf. Honestly, now that Nerf's gone, the numbers could drop dramatically. Mm-hmm. That's There's another, a, that's it's, another it's, thing I worry about. Seriously consider that, dude. Are you going to get a new nerf? How long do you wait until you get a new dog? Oh, no, 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 nerf, no, I don't know. Gotta... I don't know what the next step is, but the house is lonely. Maybe it, maybe I need to bring a woman in. Or the, uh, what uh, about what about a plant, a cactus? Maybe I do like yeah, one of those. Maybe I, I do one of those like Kardashian type baby deals. How they have their kids with in like a lab, or they like go, go to a store. Why don't you do like my ex and have one with just a basketball player? <laughs> have one with your ex? Well, or that dude. To be completely <laughs> those, honest, those comments. Those comments. Gonna be if you want to do that, go for it, bro. Oh my god! Imagine having a fucking. I mean, like just Not I just have the kid, mine. you know? Oh god, you guys always have. Them. Yeah. <laughs> and then Lana just randomly texts me like once a month to check in. I'm trying to get into the. Uh, and it's you and me hanging out. Like, <laughs> you want to check on the kid? <laughs> We're in Vegas or something. We were watching WWE. She got kid. Two, two, <laughs> two deadbeat dads. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know. Maybe it's have a kid is next. You just had a, a, a baby and you popped another one out a year later. You got another one on the way. Another one on the way. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Um, congrats, bro. Thanks, brother. Thank you. We'll talk about it more this week. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying. I want to. I would love to move towards that part of my life, but I, I had a, a a little plant that my mom got me and I put it in the back and it died. Wait, what is your plan with that? I always well, give them you're going to have to give the, the kid the water and stuff. <laughs> yeah, well, I, no, well, no, you, I have, get if you make enough money, well, no, if you make enough money, you could have the, um, what is, what, what's your actual plan with the kid? Do you want to find a woman? Well, you're a nice, no, I haven't even nice been doing lady. that. I was going to go the same route as other people and just start squirting in and, and see what happens. You know what I'm saying? Spray and pray. I mean, times are different, bro. It's 2022. You know, you're doing it the old school route with like being I mean with- let's be honest what's the point of really having one with somebody you love anyways you got a 78% chance of the marriage failing anyways you know what I'm saying you might as well just have one I'm sorry that because <laughs> she's only <laughs> married you know? I'm married it's, you know, it's going great for me I mean Man, I don't know maybe I, is there any way we could rewind that part and take it back <laughs> not know. only from that but also from his <laughs> ears you hey, talk about it more you make I a big mean, deal about I, it they're, they're gonna clip no, it out no I'm not worried about them I'm just can we cancel it being heard by him no somehow? it's fine it's fine I'm gonna be honest it's just I, statistics I didn't, what, I didn't even hear what you said people what you get say? so mad when I bring it up I, I'm just curious I like because he's my friend too and is, well, he's, I'm like what's your plan and uh, well well, you don't have a girlfriend. You had a... Uh, yeah, you've been asking me these questions for a long I, time. I, I, Since the second episode of this podcast. I know. <laughs> yeah, you I, came on this I podcast. haven't been here in a year, so and I'm they asking. Got, they got are mad because back closer? then yeah. you were pressuring me. Yeah. Like, it sounded like you were pressuring me to have yeah. a kid. But now, at this point, they're probably like, all right, we agree with Christian. Because that's been like over a year ago. We had yeah. this podcast going for almost a year and a half. Yeah. Well, what's your plan? Any changes? Uh, to my life, it's so fresh. I didn't expect anything to happen. My plan is to get out of the house, go to... I'm gonna go to London for a Chad's fight. Uh, not even London, not wherever your, the fuck. Not that I'm talking your plan with a, <laughs> oh, in life, man. Not tomorrow. Oh, and that's not that easy, easy to say, bro. <laughs> yeah. Going to Disneyland. What no, the pe- fuck? people I, just don't know how like how sensitive you are and how romantic you are. You know that about him, right? He's yeah, a, he's like sure. a, a lover. This guy is super sweet. He and, tries to like dumb respect. it down yeah. for me yeah. because yeah. he oh, thinks yeah. I'm like some sort of like savage like psychopath. So he's like, "Yo, you want to hang out with some girls? Yeah, let's go to a club and get bottles, table." This guy you hates know? that, bro. He, bro, he hates he that. To, and I don't even like. Let's dude, go I don't fucking even do, hit the raids in Mykonos, bro. Yeah, Everybody in Mykonos is him. forty-seven years old. I had fun in Mykonos with us amongst our crew, yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah, that's just the old Jersey Shore. You got all these fucking. You know 
remember that Lindsay Lohan <laughs> video that went viral where she's like dancing like this and she whips her head down and it's like all cringe like she, what? You, she's like snapping. Come on, Mykonos, let's. Who's ready to party in Mykonos, bro? That's just the oldest fucking wackest oldest shit. Oldest in the book. No, I mean it's fun, I guess, but yeah, the people in Mykonos. No, it's not, bro. It's not. Let me explain something new about the club scene. It's just a bunch of people that are just sad. They're just sad people. Yeah. yeah I'm one of them. All of that stuff is just a, an escape. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. Let's get that viral TikTok. Let's get that clip out of it. I'm here to do tonight. I'm here to pay respects and bring you your Shiva. I brought a Shiva for you, bro. It's Enough it. with this, bro. <laughs> okay. Get I Give it to even, Kyle. Yeah, no, please throw it. I have 0% of that. Now, he, now, now uh, Logan's going to be after me. No, he's me. not. And by the KSI way... KSI is going to... Mm. All right, well, that's he's, true. He's going to see you in London. Good. No, no, it's, don't no, do that. Remember we went to Poppy? <laughs> no, the first okay. thing we see when we walk in is Bry <laughs> Bryce Hall getting kicked out. That was the worst. That was oh, the, I have that on video. Are you, were you there, Kyle? Yeah, that was because we that's went that's to that's celebrate that's the lunch. What does that have oh. to do with anything? We're, yeah. we're talking about What do you mean dropping for? Yeah, it's it's not, weird. Uh, just, uh, it's that's weird. That's the last time you went to a club. <laughs> yeah. This is whack. All right, whatever. No, he's on. He's right. He's, he's absolutely right. Listen, listen. You guys know I spend time there. I, I do use it for other things besides just like going to like hang out and stuff. But I was supposed to be at Poppy tonight. You know that. Yeah. That's where I'm supposed to be going from here to Cardi B's birthday party. It's her 30, Cardi B's 30. Way to nope, name drop. Now I'm done. Mm -hmm. So fun. Okay. Yeah. What a lit life he's, he oh. lives, huh? So, so cool. what are you getting at? Are you going through a chain? Uh, you go to clubs That's every night? That's what I was getting at until he made that face. Okay. Now I'm not going to finish my thought. So, you are, you're done partying? I don't know. No, he's going to, you didn't just hear me. No, going to I'm, Cardi I'm, B's no, birthday no, but party. what I was going to say but is that I'm not going to it. But you didn't let me finish because you made a judgmental face at me. Are you when made did you a decide sad, you weren't going? You, jump, you decided you right now that you weren't going. You, no, that's not true. What? I am leaving here. I'm picking up a nice girl who does real estate. And we're going to, she said, we can either go to get food or we can just chill. And... <laughs> I'm just picturing her going, getting back to your house and picking up the bottle of pills for your <laughs> intestines and ass and your, your poop. And she's it's like, not pills, it's powder. D is this for you? What do you have to do? Like a grand grandparent staying with I you or something a, like that? I have intestinal blockage. I know. Well, now the whole world knows. I, I was already... Yeah, you're an open book. That's great. That's why everybody loves you. Mm -hmm. They love your Instagram stories and stuff that you write a whole long thing on that people just tap through. But it's cool. I I'll my, read them. I give my time... I, First of all, on this podcast, another thirty seconds. But in this industry, not much longer. I can't take this shit. Look, anymore. what I was I getting. I can't take at. this abuse. Ooh. I write because I'm a writer. That's why I write the stuff for Instagram stories. You would know if you'd read the Fifth Vital. You couldn't hey, even read one. It's better page than doing heroin. Book, so what I'm proud of you that you have positive vices that you could do that help people. But what I was getting at with this video of Mykonos, it's just a place that people go to party when they're just over it you should be done if you're 47 years old and you're going to mykonos to just get a fucking just listen to the same song over and over again just the same beat playing every club does the same what if shit. it was this song that's playing right now good it'll change it up give people a different way maybe you could talk and have a conversation with somebody instead of just hey you got coke you got fucking or whatever whatever the hell they do listen, out there listen, cb2 I'm not gonna furniture say store on two cb how do you say it two cb I was calling it CB2. That, that's like a mid-century mid mid modern mid furniture. furniture. Yeah. CBD. Yeah. Nice place. So about going to Mykonos, when are you going to stop doing that? When are we all going to stop doing that? I stopped that? right that's now. That's what I was done. asking. That's what I was asking. Done. What's the plan for Over your guys' it. life? Well, as I think What's back the, to that trip. Are you, are like, you, you going to get married, Mike? Is that your plan? Are you a married type or are you just like, what? what's the plan? Because, what, Mike, when I was there in Mykonos... And I'm, I'm like, I'm, you know, a few years younger than you. I, I felt like I was done with this shit. I felt like an old dog. And I'm just like, when am I going to be fucking done? And I feel like that's how Nerf felt with life. I don't have feelings. Nerf. Nerf. Uh, like, what do you want me to say right now? I don't know. That's my fucking answer to every question you're asking me and every question you're asking me and any question the bathroom boy's asking. So you met... I am a you piece of... You, I'm, you know the fucking hay bales that roll across no, the road gonna, in Westerns? Do you know what I'm talking about? Yep. Yes. And when it goes... And yeah. a tumbleweed rolls by and somebody, a city oh, slicker man. comes out. Ka -tsh, ka -tsh. I'm the fucking tumbleweed that rolls by. I don't know, Jeff. I don't know, Christian. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. And nor do I really, I, I have socks on that say, I don't give a fuck. Because I actually don't care. Wait, where'd you, get, anything, where'd you find those? Would you see Emma Chamberlain saw... wearing them or something? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Emma Chamberlain. Thank God you came back to YouTube. So what I was saying, Mike, is 
you know that's one how, how that's one i how, do like how, these are good not how you felt in mykonos because you were hitting it off you were having fun in there you said to me you turned you leaned over you said no, i wasn't having <laughs> no fun. you leaned over and you said to me i was dying to get out of there this is my first night there i hadn't even like i don't drink so i was like i mean i know you were like you leaned over to me and you said the hottest girls in the world are in this club right now, bro. And I look around and I'm like, what club are you at, bro? What are you fucking looking at? And how I felt in that club is how I believe Nerf was starting to feel in life. He had seen it all. He's got fucking people coming over him. Yo, the hottest girls in the world are in this club, bro. And he's just like, nah, bro. I don't give Didn't a fuck. Didn't you meet the girl your lifelong dreams at that club? Ooh. That's fucking nuts. Oh, I mean, I it's just weird. That. It's weird that you would that you would diss my comment about the hottest girls in the world since the love of your life. I did meet her there. Miss Italy 2022 was at that club. So here's the thing. I gotta, I gotta throw this out there. My brain doesn't work as fast as it used to. But when it does catch up, it will steamroll, motherfucker. That was good. You got me good. There. And then I'll continue to get everyone good. Okay? Let's go back. I'm Kanye every year before he became club. Kanye, bro. <laughs> let's not get into Kanye. How about that? I just yeah. honestly, bro. <laughs> let's let's no put worries. it let's put it like this. Sorry. Kanye West I is him, is one of the best music makers mm -hmm. in the history of. Uh, he, he's a music genius. He's yep. great at doing yeah. interviews too. Ma do he, bro. He created some of the most important hip hop beats in the history of hip hop and some of the most yep. important hip hop songs yep. in the history of hip hop. I've been listening to 808s yep. and Heartbreak. But, but 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 Kanye West has been dismantled by mental illness mm -hmm. for a long time now. I, I would say probably is even before it, but especially so after the death of his mother. Mm -hmm. He he has been he he needs dramatic realignment and the only thing that I is don't, I, I don't I, know I, bro. I, you can I just keep know. talking maybe, I'm gonna finish my thought maybe. the only thing that's allowing him to continue to surge is the current environment which is I'm gonna say whatever the fuck I want yeah. And when everyone says that I'm wrong for having said it, I'm going to say, no, y'all are owned by the mainstream media. Sounds like he's going to go into rapping. Bro, like. bro, that's, that, this is the, listen to this. That is the craziest thing about the current society that we live in. You could say anything you want, anything. And when someone disagrees with you, no matter how factually backed their disagreement and debate is, you can indeed. simply say, you're corporate owned, you're mainstream media, you're a sheep. And I'm doing it differently. I'm not owned by you. No. And that's enough to get you a jail, a get out of free jail free card. Yeah. That's where we exist at. Oh, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, 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 think about what I'm it's saying right now. It's such a to lose this for the YouTube version. It'll probably just be some Bro, royalty free version crazy. of that. It probably won't hit as hard. But damn, that was fire. You <laughs> landed right on the beat when you made your point. Bro, you are good at podcasting. I mean, I mean, it's just, it's just nuts. It's like a graduation speech. It's just, it's just nuts. <laughs> I think you got your clip. That's it. I didn't TikTok. want a clip. <laughs> yeah. I didn't no, want a clip. It's going on Amy <laughs> Mike's TikTok next week. I, I, but it's just nuts, and and it's also and it's also throwing you know his massive fan base mm -hmm. of of you know twelve to fourteen year olds because that's his fan are. base. Kanye. Yeah, the yay no, stands. bro. I, go to his concerts. Homie, you see like homie, 40, that's 50 not what year I'm, I'm talking about on on Twitter. I'm talking about on Instagram. I'm talking about all the people with the black um, Instagram photo that are in his comment section. Mm. <laughs> right? Start talking. We're trying to listen to Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's the point? Hey, what's the point? See, this is why he that comment, which is hilarious, by the way, is the reason why. Though it's because trolling is now the name of the game, mm -hmm. and so the more you can say about the. I'm not even gonna say what no, I'm gonna I say. No, I troll all day long. Kanye but, trolls, it's, uh, but you're Kanye right. Kanye now is. is trolling, like here's, here it comes down to the same question again. Comes back to, t it's Tate 2.0. It's Tate 2.0. Well, you got where, attacked for being a sheep is, and, and Where right? is the, yes, uh, Andrew Tate went on a show and said, this dude is owned. That's what he said about me. He's he, exactly what I just said about Kanye is what he said about yeah. me and Logan. They're corporate owned. Susan tells them what to say. Yes, <laughs> Susan, the CEO of YouTube, you calls upon Susan would respond to your DMs. DMs. <laughs> calls upon the fellow crackhead of YouTube <laughs> and tells him to stop fucking porn stars for five seconds <laughs> so that he can listen to a speech from her about how to further control the matrix that we live in. Yes. 
I am a Susan You got Blake. it, bro. You, <laughs> you caught me. <laughs> you caught me, man. You got the crackhead dead to rights. Trust uh, me, Mike, bro. Trust it. me. This guy has no connects at YouTube. <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs> Mike, how's that he calls taste? me when his bro, video. And, yeah. that's, <laughs> and they got so they got so yeah. mad because I said I'm gonna eat the steak like the Matrix. Because to be completely honest with you, well, it was a joke, bro. Let me ask you this: Are you willing to die for what you? Are you willing to die to, to tell people that 9/11 was an inside job? Are you willing to I mean, die I do, I, I do to that. tell people that COVID wasn't real? Are you willing to die I to told tell my mom that 9 11 was an inside was job here on this podcast? How far are you willing and, to go? And she was in are you willing to move out of this apartment and into a refrigerator box so that people believe you when you say that 9 11 was an inside job? Answer that question, Jeff. No, you're going to eat the steak like I'm going to eat the steak. I never watched yep. the movies. So I don't know what you're talking about. Are you mad at me? What I the agree. fuck did I do? I don't I even know what you're saying right now, bro. <laughs> I never watched The Matrix. Should I? Or am I going to turn the tape? I shave my head and I No, start you're going to be fucking... the opposite. If you watch The Matrix and you understand it, you can escape it, move to Romania, and become friends with Susan from YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, I don't want no part of that I shit. I can't deal with this shit. I'm out of here. All right. Well, thank you for stopping by. This is nice. What? It just feels kind of like rushed, bro. To How me, I just said that? me off like that, yeah. Oh, you wanted me to stay and be like, uh, why don't you stay for No, actually, you can leave. You can leave now. Are right? you kicking Mike? me off your show? Maybe we got enough of you. Okay. You got your clip. Right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> That's all you use your Actually. Uh, I'm going to hop up, too. No! Actually? Huh? Yeah, what, what, what? Thank you, bro. Thanks yeah. for being a real one. Yeah, it's really good. Uh, look at this. See that? Yeah. What did you take just now? <laughs> money? Oh, the money during the cash <laughs> <laughs> You can keep the 20. Oh, yeah, I forgot I had that here. <laughs> nah, I'll keep it. Just give it to Damn, me. Damn, he remembered right. it. Fuck. I love you guys. You know what video I saw, Oscar, that fucking tripped me out? Which one? I don't want to go back into, like, sad stuff, but uh, where should I airdrop it? MacBook Pro? Yeah, or Mac Pro. I mean, bro, Nerf has done so many videos with us over the years mm -hmm. that we have like every situation played out like you know how they were able to go back in stranger things and make 11 like a like her young self again because mm -hmm. they had like all enough the, of yeah her, of her face and stuff look at this video we made Bye, Nerf. oh what the heck like what were we trying to make here you know Kyle, by the way. <laughs> what, what was this when did you guys do this bye nerf Nerf! Nerf! So fucking wow. nuts, right? And yeah. it cuts to black, and we say bye, Nerf. Wait, when did you guys make that? I don't even remember. I was just going through old videos to try wow. to find shit to post. And That's then, a good one. Fuck, man. I mean, we were saying goodbye at the airport, and mm -hmm. it was like, I used to get sad doing stuff like that, you know? But I don't know why we made that video and put the ASPCA song in the background <laughs> in the arms of an angel. <laughs> Like, what the fuck are you doing? I don't know. Yeah, no, he was a good dog. All right, well, I think we wrap it up. Fuck, man. Thank you, everybody, for sending the nice messages and stuff. Uh, I love you. Nerf loves you. We appreciate it. And we'll see you next week. Sorry if this was a tough listen, but I feel better that I got to come on here and talk to everybody. It's good to see you. Um. Yeah, this is nice. All right, love you guys. Peace. I have a dog, and I give him a hard time, and I I, I do it a lot on my Instagram. I would John Wick a fucking whole. I, I would assassinate a, a, a whole uh, mafia if they took my dog. My relationship with my dog, he's like my roommate. He's like my brother. You know, I didn't ask for a dog or anything like that, but then we just became cool. And now, yeah, I love him. It's crazy, but that's my boy. You cried too. It's I was trying to, yeah. You forced it? That was fake? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>